In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your Steinberg MR Series audio interface into an 8x8 microphone preamp to ADAT optical interface so that you can use it with any ADAT optical compatible device. And here's what you'll need to do this. You'll need an interface or mixer with ADAT ports and your MR816X or CSX. You'll also need two ADAT compatible optical cables. And you may need to use a BNC cable, probably not. This is optional, and I don't use a BNC cable, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Next, you'll need a Firewire cable with at least one 6-pin or Firewire 400 connector, because that's the type of connector that's on the back of your MR series interface. You'll also need a Firewire-equipped Mac or Windows-based computer, and you'll need tools for MR software installed on that computer. And that software is available for free at Steinberg.net. So go to Steinberg.net, and then you're going to look for the Support tab. Click on that, and next you're going to scroll down the list a little bit here until you see Downloads. And at the time this video was made, you can still find the MR series right here in the downloads for hardware category, but in later years, you're going to find that in the unsupported products list. But right now, go ahead and go to the MR816 CSX or X category under downloads for hardware. Here's the most current software, but if you have an older computer, you may need to scroll down even further and look for the older tools for MR software that date all the way back to 2009 with versions for the Mac OS 10.4. That's 10.4 Tiger, not 10.14 Mojave. So you could download that for Mac here or for Windows XP or Vista or Windows 7 here. And once you have tools for MR installed on your computer, you'll need to make the following connections. You're going to take your computer and you're going to take the MR series audio interface and with that file Firewire cable, you're going to connect one of the ports of the MR to the Firewire port of your computer. Some computers have a 4-pin port, some of them have a 6- or 9-pin port, and so you may need to have an adapter to get those types of ports to a 6-pin, like is on the back of an MR. And then you're going to take either your interface with optical ports or a digital mixer with those ADAT optical ports, and you're going to connect the ins and outs of your MR's optical ports to the other mixer or interface. And so for this example, I've used the Steinberg AXR4 audio interface, which has two banks of optical ports. But all you need to do is connect the ins and outs together. So the in of the MR is going to go to the out of the other device. So ins always go to outs. And you'll need to connect both of these cables because all of your digital devices need to be vibrating at the same frequency. And the clock is part of the ADAT optical specification. So ADAT light pipe ports always have the digital clock. And that's why I don't typically recommend using a BNC cable to connect the word clock out from your new mixer or interface to the input of the MR. Because if you're using ADAT optical and that's what it takes to connect these together optically, you won't need that BNC cable. And now that you've made those connections, it's time to go to your Firewire-equipped computer and run a program that got installed with tools for MR called MR Editor. And the MR Editor is essentially a control panel version of all the inputs and outputs of your Steinberg MR series interface. So you can see that we have all eight microphone inputs at the top, and we have all eight ADAT inputs at the top. We also have the return of the DAW, which you won't need to be using for this particular situation. And then you have the master output, which you also won't need to configure. And next, we're going to come up to the presets window up here, and you're going to load the zero preset, which is initial data. That will get the settings of this particular preset all back to the factory defaults. Then you're going to come down to the setup window, and when you click on that, come over to this window and make sure your digital I.O. settings are set to ADAT. Not any of these other settings, but just ADAT. Then you're going to come over to the clock source, and you're going to click on that, and you'll have four options. Anything that's in italics is not available, probably because you don't have those connections made on the back of the MR. In this particular case, I can choose the internal clock source, but I'll want to choose the ADAT port as the clock source, because again, ADAT light pipe has that clock source as part of its signal. 
And that's why ADAT is lit up here and not in italics. So I'll select that. Then I'll come down to the sample rate, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. It's easy to set. You have four different options, but typically if you're working in a musical environment, you'll choose 44.1 kilohertz. In my case, I'm in a video environment, so I'm going to choose 48 kilohertz. Now, the bummer about the MR series interface is that there is no provision on the hardware unit itself to change the clock source and the sample rate. The only way to do that if you're going to turn your MR into a light pipe interface is to connect it to a Firewire based computer and change it from the MR editor right here. So you have to know what sample frequency you're going to be uh, using in your studio the most often, because unless you set the sample rate, it won't work properly. And the only way to change it back to a different sample rate is through the MR editor. So that's a little bit of a pain. But once you have that sample rate and clock source established, you can close that window and you're going to come over to the upper left hand corner and make sure that the device that shows up right here isn't flashing red. If it is flashing red, then there's a clock source problem and you may need to go back to the setup window and make sure that you've made the proper connections. Then we're going to come to the right side of the MR editor and this is where you're going to find all of your output connections. And it's going to show those in pairs. It's going to have the analog outputs 1 through 8 and the ADAT ports output 1 through 8 in pairs. And what you're going to do is connect the inputs from the physical front of the MR to the ADAT port instead in pairs. And so to do that, I'm going to show you a little secret. And if I come over to the faders here, you'll notice that they're all turned up right now. But what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key along with the control on a Windows based PC or the command key on a Mac computer and then turn down any one of those faders and they'll all turn down at the exact same rate. That way you don't have to do them one by one. So now that we've got all of those faders turned all the way down, we're going to go to the first input and turn it up and the second input and turn it up then pan each of those channels left and right that will put the first input on the first ADAT output and then the second input is going to go on the ADAT's second output so that configures our first pair of inputs the next thing we're going to do is go to the ADAT 3-4 output and do the same thing then double click on the fader to send it right to zero and then pan the odd numbered input in this case three all the way to the left and the even numbered input all the way to the right and then we're going to do the same thing with output five and six we're going to go to input five and six and turn those up but then pan them hard left and hard right then go to the last ADAT and turn the faders all the way down turn both seven and eight up and then pan those inputs left and right and then if you have a CSX instead of an X version of the MR series interface, you can configure the control strip with insert effects so that you can use the DSP that's part of your MR interface on the inputs themselves, but I'm just going to leave those off for right now. And then here's the magic of doing this. When you hit the store button and you give this preset a name, you'll see I have already got my own preset stored to do this, but I'm just going to make a new preset called ADAT 8x8. And then I'm going to click on OK, and this is the magic. When you save that preset and then you power off your MR interface, it will remember all of that input to output routing so that all eight analog inputs of your interface will always go to all eight ADAT outputs. So once you've done that, you should be able to load up your DAW program, regardless of what you're using, Cubase or Pro Tools or Nuendo or whatever, and you'll be able to record from those analog inputs to the ADAT connection instead. So you may need to consult your owner's manual to find out exactly how to record from your ADAT ports. But that's how to turn your Yamaha MR series interface into a light pipe interface.